Today, we celebrate a unique breed. Mom, you are a superhero, and you wear your mask proudly. Suited up with all your gadgets, you look like you're headed for the airport. But this is no vacation. You're equipped to sanitize half the county. Germs, beware. Your kiss has the power to annihilate boo-boos and mend ouchies. <clears throat> nice try, Dad. And when you need a clean getaway, you have your secret hideout. Can Johnny stay the night? You truly are a Wonder Woman. You don't give up on homework, even when everyone else does. And your superpowers can still win first place at the sixth grade science fair. You go, girl. Supergirl plans a romantic date night. Oh, but you've been foiled again. But that's okay, because it's Mother's Day. This is the one day of the year we set aside for you, because you are a superhero. superheroes, you know that? And I'm so glad that you've chosen to worship with us this morning, and we want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. We want to celebrate you. And so kiddos, go over and give your mom a big hug and a squeeze and give her a kiss on the cheek. Tell her how much you love her and how much you're thankful for her and for all she does for you. And we're going to continue worshiping the Lord this morning through our singing. And so grab your mom by the hand and let's stand up and let's sing to the Lord this morning.
Hi guys, Super Catwoman here. Just checking in to see if you have been going over your verse this week that we learned last week, Psalm 62, 7. I brought some friends that are going to help us with the motions, and I need you to say the verse along with us. All right, here we go. I depend on God to save me and honor me. He is my mighty rock and my place of safety. Great job with the verse, boys and girls. Well, we're going to come back there in just a little bit, but let's go over to the kitchen and see what Heidi and Brecken are up to. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Heidi and Brecken, and we're back again to show you how to make a super yummy superhero snack. So since today is Mother's Day, we thought we'd pay tribute to mothers by picking our favorite superhero that reminds us of mom. And Brecken, who did we pick? Wonder Woman. That's right, we picked Wonder Woman. So we are gonna make Wonder Woman Shield Rice Krispie Treats. So to make these, we're gonna need Rice Krispies, wax paper, a knife, so remember, always have your parents present when using a knife, measuring cup, cutting board, butter, M&Ms in red, blue, and yellow colors, Buy biscuit cutters or cookie cutters. Um, you can use either, just in a round shape. It's great. Frosting, a vegetable spray, marshmallows, of course, a, a casserole dish, a bowl, and a saucepan. So Brecken is going to get started by using her measuring cup and scooping out six cups of Rice Krispies into the bowl. Now that we have all of our Rice Krispie Treats, or Rice Krispie Treats, Rice Krispies in a bowl, we're gonna get going on the uh, Rice Krispie Treat binder, the marshmallows, the bun. So we need the saucepan, the butter, the cutting board, and the knife. So go ahead, Bracken, and um, we need three tablespoons of butter. And I don't know if you know this, but there's kind of a measuring stick on a stick of butter. And these hash marks right here are a tablespoon each. There are eight here. And so we are gonna count over one, two, three, and we're gonna have Brecken cut right at that third mark. First, we're gonna melt the butter. Okay, now that the butter is melted, we're gonna have Brecken put the marshmallows in the pot. So go ahead and do it. Great job. Okay, and now we're gonna heat the marshmallows and they're gonna melt into a yummy goodness. Okay, now that we have the marshmallows melted into the butter, we have this nice gooey mixture and we are gonna, I'm gonna have Brecken pour in the Rice Krispies. And bring in our casserole dish. So back in, I am going to spray the casserole dish with the vegetable oil spray. Can you wave your fingers please? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just get a nice light coating on there. Okay. So now we are going to take our wax paper which is a really cool trick so we don't get um, the Rice Krispies stickiness on our hands. I'm gonna let Brecken do this. So we're gonna take the wax paper and I'm just gonna let her push on it and spread these Rice Krispies all around in the casserole dish. A good job there. That was a so now that we have our little, I would say, block of Rice Krispie treats, next comes the cookie cutter. So we're just gonna take the cookie cutter and we are going to make a nice big round circle. So why don't you do it right in the corner there, Breck?
And now is for the fun part, the decorating. So Bracken, I have some yellow frosting for the um, Wonder Woman W and some decorative M&Ms, which I said before are red, blue, and yellow. So Brecken, you wanna go ahead and decorate it with your W? got a W on it and um, that's for Wonder Woman but we also thought you could flip it and have it kind of like an M for mom so we just want to say thank you for listening and we hope you guys have a great Mother's Day bye Well, thanks so much, Heidi and Brecken for thinking of our mothers and making such a fun yummy snack well, we're gonna continue with our superhero series. And just to recap what we talked about last week, we learned that every superhero has an origin story, meaning they all have to start somewhere. And we looked at Moses and where he began his superhero journey for God as a baby floating down the Nile River in a basket. And this week, we're going to explore another way that superheroes have in common, and that is a mission, that every superhero has a mission or a goal or a purpose that allows them to use their gifts and abilities for good. And so I want you to turn in your Bibles to Joshua chapter 5, verse 13. It's at the end of the, end of the chapter, and we're going to read into verse, um, chapter 6 through verse 20. And if you have a picture Bible, you can turn to the story of Joshua and the fall of Jericho. And so we're gonna take a look at this video and we're gonna see the mission that God gave Joshua and how God helped him be successful. So let's take a look at the video. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joshua. This is Joshua. Oh, hey. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, who God used to bring his people to the promised land. Yeah, let's do it. When God told Joshua it was time to take the promised land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. The spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Now the Israelites had crossed the Jordan and were camped near the town of Jericho. Hey! Hello! One day, Joshua looked up, huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello. The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho, All right. but that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers and march around the city for six days. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout. Then what? And then the city walls would fall. Wow! Yeah, let's do it! So Joshua said, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! and the walls did fall. Let's go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. Rahab! They remembered Rahab 
because of her faithfulness. Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would. Oh, nice. For God will never fail to fulfill his promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago. So God gave Joshua the plan to march around the city. And as strange as those plans were, Joshua obeyed God without questioning. You see, Joshua trusted that God would give him everything he would need to fulfill the mission. So they marched around the city, they blew the trumpets, and the walls crumbled. The Israelites attacked and defeated Jericho. Mission accomplished. And you know what? God has a mission for each one of us. Do you remember what that mission is? We are to spread the good news of Jesus, but God wants each of us to play our own part. God will place you right where he wants you the most. And if we are willing to follow him, he will give us the words to say and the tools we need to fulfill our mission. No superpowers needed, just a willing and obedient heart. I don't know about you, but I wanna give Jesus my heart and go wherever he wants me to go and do whatever he wants me to do. So I wanna pray that for you today. And so if you wanna gather with your family or kneel where you are, let's just pray and talk to God to help us with the mission that he has called us to do. So let's pray and talk to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your love for us and that you have given us all a very important mission, and that is to spread the good news of Jesus wherever we go. And we know, Lord, that you're going to place each one of these kids in um, a position or a place, Lord, where you are going to use them in a mighty way. So I pray right now, even as young as they are, Lord, that you begin that work right now and that you begin that work in their lives, in their hearts, that you will just open up their hearts, Lord, and that they will be obedient to you in all that they do. We love you today, Lord, and we just thank you for all you do for us. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, have a great week, and I'll see you back here next week. Bye.